-hmm. Now, um, could you get me the tropical fish in the aquariums of those that are oaths, badges, and attorneys? Yeah. Now, um, there are certain items that I am concerned with as, um, as a person that wants to put a stop to global warming. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Tungsten, yeah, mm -hmm. is a fairly hard mm -hmm. silver metallic element. <laughs> Melts at, uh, at about 3,422 degrees Celsius. Mm. It has the highest melting temperature yeah, of any metal. <laughs> Now, I keep watching the television talking about how global warming is going to affect us. Yes. When I keep explaining how to cool the earth down because of the use of steam. Yeah. Now, let's say you had a, well, a large amount of tungsten. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, as big as a Volkswagen bug. Yeah. You heated it up to <laughs> almost a melting point. It says here the melting point is 5,555 degrees Celsius. Oh. You heat it up to about six or seven thousand degrees Fahrenheit and you kind of run it along the top of the ocean. Yes. Let's say, okay, all the wasted money on global warming and cooling down the earth is a bunch of fucking bullshit. <laughs> Now, I'm starting to get upset. I want to know every place, yes, where they mined uh, the alkaline metals to form a class of compounds known as tungsten bronzes. Yes. <laughs> the actual ownership of them. Mm -hmm. And uh, it seems that tungsten occurs in nature minerals, shelite, uh -huh. wolframite, uh -huh. mm -hmm. tungsten. Uh -huh. Now, I'm going to want a large amount of this, and uh, I'm going to want to use it, yes, so that you would realize that global warming is not a problem anymore. <laughs> I'm going to want those rights today, and I'm going to want to put an end, yes, of the world, yes, talking about global warming, yes, yes. <laughs> I'm going to put some real hot steam up in the upper atmosphere, by the time it gets there, it will freeze. That's right. <laughs> and then we won't talk about it anymore, will we? Yeah. We won't spend any more money trying to figure out how to combat global warming. Yes, yes, yes. Now, I know you have a difficult time hearing. Yes. There is a solution to global warming, and I want to know, yes, where all the manufacturers of tungsten are, yes, and exactly, pooch, why it is that you thought cooling down the earth did not involve freezing the upper atmosphere. Yes. Now, there's a tuning fork. Yeah. Seems like somebody's hearing is out of tuning. Yes. Could you get some of these old-style tuning forks that began in 1711? Yeah. And just put it next to each ear of those that I'm going to sue. Yes. And see if they can hear where I'm talking. <laughs> now listen. <laughs> those in government that have knowledge of the misprison of treason. Yeah. I think somebody's out of tune and could be the electronic ear. Yes. It could be that dogs do not hear the same pitch. Yes. Isn't that what it's used for? Yes. As actual human beings. And the louder you yell, the more you think you communicate when you really don't. Yeah. Now, I know. Okay. Let's just use the old tuning fork and just go ting right next to the ear and see if you can fucking hear that right now. Because I'll blow your ears out now. There's what's known as a tunnel. Yeah. They have rock tunnels. Yes. Submerged tunnels. Yes. Earth tunnels. Yeah. Railroad tunnels. <laughs> we went through the tunnels once before and somebody was putting like doors in them. <laughs> kind of like you drive your vehicle in. Super top secret. Right. This, this door moves. Right. And you can drive your car into your secret laboratory. <laughs> now, why don't you get me every tunnel of this nation and every nation? Yes. And find out when you drive through the tunnel. 
Yes. What is on the left or right side of the actual tunnel that you're driving through yes. that you had no knowledge of? Yes, he did right now. <laughs> now I'm a little upset because I'll tell you something. <laughs> Somebody's been manufacturing some top secret. <laughs> now, this is something that is very important to me called the steam turbine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As high as 1,200 degrees Fahrenheit and pressure as high as 3,500 pounds per square inch. <laughs> Well, is there any possibility that we could produce some steam at around 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit and increase the amount of pounds per square inch times multitudes? <laughs> now I'm wanting to make some electricity today. and <laughs> You wanted to say I was crazy. You're going to have me put in a mental facility. You're going to make me go to court when you have the evidence I didn't commit a crime. <laughs> and then you're going to obstruct me, yes, from changing all of the generators in every dam of the United States to steam generating, yes, so that they don't use any of the water sources of any river. Now, I'm thinking billions today, okay? Hundreds of billions of dollars? Yes. And you want to make sure... Oh, oh you get me. All the electric generators that use uh, turbines... Now, I know General Electric. Isn't that right, General? Yes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. How a steam by a turbine works. Look at steam. Yeah. Turbine wheels. Yes. Steam. Condenser workload. Yes. Or you could use steam. Yeah. A stationary blade. <laughs> now, every time I die, <clears throat> I'm telling you, I am going to sue every... <laughs>